once again welcome to Adiotech. i'm delighted to have you back on my channel remember to subscribe like and share this video and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming tutorials in my previous tutorial i showed you how to create a database in php my admin and also how to create a table in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a foreign key within a table so basically foreign keys are columns or group group of columns within a relational database that provide a link between two records in different tables Serve as a cross reference between tables because it provides a reference to a primary key within another table so we can create a primary key and have that same key within another table in that case it becomes what a foreign key so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a foreign key step by step so stay tuned for this video so what you need to do first is if you don't know how to create a database and then a table then i'll leave a link below to my previous video at the description so that you can go and watch that video so let's go ahead and create two tables because before we can create a foreign key two tables need to exist and create that relationship between them so let's start so in my previous tutorial i created a student database and we're going to create just a simple table within this so i'm going to create a user table so first when you click on the database to give you option to create so i'll create users and i'll provide just four columns and i'll click on go so when i click on go it will give me the option to provide the name of the columns within that particular database that particular table and there's something very important over here you have to take note of you need to make sure your storage engine is changed towards the inodb if you don't change it to that you will not see the option the relation view to create that foreign key relationship so make sure you change the storage engine to inodb so you want to have user id so let's just call it id let me just make a user id so it to be unique so user underscore id and this is going to be what an integer and the length is by default is going to be 11 and we want to make this one auto increment so i'll come here and then change it to what primary key and then check this the ai simply means what auto incremented so just confirm this and i'll check this this is going to be auto incremented so we have the user here user id and then let's say we want to take a username and the user name is going to be voucher and already i explained what a voucher is it's a combination of letters and then uh numbers so let me give it a voucher of 30 and then let's also have l name that's a uh the last name so let's let's make f name first first name and then we set it as voucher let's just put it at 30 and i will put the last name also 30 it was also going to be voucher i'm not going to add other information because my focus is to teach you how to create a foreign key so that is all then we just click on save and then we update we save this database so it's going to appear under the student table okay so that is it we have the table by we can see the structure of this particular table we have the user id user name first name and last name we have all the data type provided neatly in order to provide a foreign key we need to go ahead and add a second table so you can see within our database we have option here called new so when you click on this new to give us option to create a different table so let's assume we want a student to make post so we can give the name of this table to a post so anything the student will post will be stored within this particular table and let's have a post id so let's say post id underscore id and we're going to leave it as integer and we'll set the index to what primary and then the AI simply means auto increment. Let's update that so that anytime the ID is generated to be auto incremented. And now we want to link it to the user table. So that means the user ID will not appear in this table. We need to provide that column within this post table in order to link the two. I'm going to leave it as integer as well since it's also going to be a primary key. Okay. Over here we have now, and I'm going to leave this for now, but the foreign king column can take a null value but let's leave it as it is for now and then we'll go ahead and then provide let's say within the post we want to see the name of the person who make the post and also the content of that post so let's say content so the name let's just give it voucher and let's put it at around 30 
and then the contents is going to be very long so we can just leave it at text that is all we need and uh, like i said make sure your story agent is set to what i know db and you click on save so that is okay that is all for now we've been able to provide the two tables as we want so we want to create a relationship between the two now so you have the post table and the users table so we have the users id appearing on what the post table but that is just the id but we want to make sure that this id is now a foreign key within the post table so the users id is trying to link the post table together but we need to make it what what a, a foreign key so it's having it's let's go back to the users table so you notice that we have a user id over here if you go to the structure you see it's so clear so you see the user id within the user table over here and it's you can see the key showing over here indicating that's what it's a primary key but we want this user id to go to the post table as well but in this case that is not a primary table so it's going to be a foreign key but we need to enforce that relationship called referential integrity we we'll enforce we we'll create that kind of relationship between these two tables now so now we are back to the post table and this user id we want to reference it in the users table okay and we are going to make it user id we're going to make it a foreign key so now you can see there's no indication that this is a foreign key we want a key to appear alongside so you can see at the top of where we have the table structure we also have relationship view so that's what we're going to provide that relationship there are some few things i'm going to talk about over there remember to subscribe to this channel if you like this video hit the like button and share with friends and remember that i'm going to have so many videos coming up series of videos and teach you some it techniques right here on this channel so let's go to relationship view so within this relationship view, we can provide a name for this constraint but let me just leave it because it's optional and then over here we are on delete what happens when you delete this we delete a record from the users table or the other table we delete a user so what is going to happen when you delete a user when you provide this restriction when leave it out restriction when you have you want to delete a user and the user is having a post you can't delete it so take note of that i'll show you in another video by adding how to add a record to a database once we have that record we we'll try deleting it and we we'll see how this foreign key is going to work so when we leave it as restrict anytime you want to delete a user and a user is having a post it will, we can't delete that so let's rather change this to what cascade cascade means that anytime we delete a user if a user is having a post that post will also be deleted and when we set it to now when we set it to set to now when anytime we delete a user the id column at the post table will be set to what and now that means there's no id so that's what we want to do so now let's change it to what cascade and then the column which column are we going to do we are going to deal with what user id column and which which database so remember we are in the post database so we are talking about what the database we are in the student database that is what we are working with and which table within which table are we working with so we want to work with what the users table we are going to reference the users table and you see it has automatically picked the id column within the users table for us so we are using the id column within the post table that's the user id column within the post table and we want to reference is that we're going to create a link between this user id within the post table to the user id within the users table so that is the link we are providing as easy as that and then we click on save So we've saved this successfully and you can see your SQL query has been executed successfully. You can see it gave us what? A simple SQL statement. So this SQL statement, we'll be writing the SQL statement in other videos. It is using the keyword author table post add foreign key. So we are just inferring those foreign key. We'll learn how to do that in other tables. So I just want to start from the basis then we'll grow to that level where we can write very very unique sql statement so let's go back to our post table and see the structure of the table now okay so i'll go back to the structure and there should be a key attached to the user id so you can see now there is a great key attached to the user id column within the post table so now if you point your mouse you can see it's now an index so this is now an id over your core user id but it's also in the user table it's a primary key at the user table but a foreign key 
within what well, the post table so we'll be able to enforce that foreign key relationship between them so how do we confirm this so i'm going to create on the date i'm going to click on the database that's the student database and then i'll go towards more click on more when you move your more to more go to a design designer we'll click on the designer and i'm going to show you something you can see automatically within this designer you can see what is happening over here we're going to select relationship from we are going to create relationships we'll click on create relationship and i see what is happening you can see the two are, are linked to that so the user so you can see what is happening now once we go to religion click on that you can see there's a relationship created between the user id over here and the user id and this particular column so we've been able to create that relationship between the two so now when we drag this up around you can see that relationship still exists between the two so the user id over here and then the user id within the post column has been connected together so that is basically the relationship we are trying to create between the two so that's the foreign key we've created in this particular video so now we've linked these two tables together and then we want to add a record that kind of relationship is going to exist between those records within the database and remember to subscribe like this video and when you enjoy this video share with friends i'm going to create a lot of things i'm going to show you so many strategy in computer programming and a lot of things coming up in order not to miss any of this opportunity continue visiting my channel subscribe and share this video with friends in my next tutorial i'm definitely i'm going to show you how we can add records to our database and we can see how this relationship is going to take effect once we delete a record you can see whether this relationship is going to exist in the post table or it's, it's going to vanish and i promise you that by next week you're going to have that video so leave a comment at the comment section and if you want me to attend to you within any of this short period you can also search for me on my social media platform especially on facebook i'm agile tech and you can send me direct message also like my page on facebook till i come your way again bye bye